Right now we're at a time and a place where we're trying to approach data very much top down. Define what I should have in order to be able to disclose and make this or that claim and then I need to go back all the way through my supply chain and find the land managers, the indigenous people and get them to give me data. And that's just never going to work. Uh, we should try to do it top down. There's too much complexity and there's too little incentive. Really believe we need to do uh, democratization and decentralization. So that means there will be a lot of low cost tools uh, in the next five, ten years that will be deployable. Sensors in, uh, on the ground, in the forest, uh, uh, data collection uh, passively from your phone or whatever. And stitching all of that together, we can get bottom up uh, site specific data. And then you can start saying, disclosing top down when you get those data. We need to get the incentive to create data to the land manager. Yeah, well, I'm with Moja Global, which is this open community that hosts a tool that's called Flint, Full Land Use Integration Tool, which is a, a modular uh, free to download tool that has been derived from carbon modeling tools that the governments of Australia and Canada did 20 years ago. It basically takes the international rules, IPCC rulebook for how you account carbon in forest and translates that into equations and algorithms in modules that you can download to your computer and get started. And that's back to the democratization, decentralization. Uh, with a little bit of help, uh, all sorts of organizations and entities can download that tool and start at stand level, at forest plot level, and uh, elsewhere in the same data supply chain, the government or regional authority can do the same tool and it would all plug in, it would be consistent.